Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a graduate from the Academy in 2013. In 2014, when I moved to Denmark, I actually started with this idea of making like a children's book, which started with the name Water Drops, and then that just kind of evolved into a short film in animation because I was in this animation environment, and we made this like very artistic short film called Drops. Yeah, so the purpose and the idea with this project Drops was to combine a sort of more analog and a more artistic freestyle with the what we actually chose watercolor with this project and a lot of hand doing as much of the process of much of the production with with hand-drawn animation and then when we got to a point where we couldn't step further then we took it into the computer and took it into softwares and then created the, the film from there. Okay we, we won an award in um, well we've been selected for over 50 different, even more than 50 at this point, different film festivals around the world, so it's already like really recognized in the festival world. This is throughout the two last, the two last years. And it's won um, a Peace Award in a, in a festival, in Sapo Sapporo Film Festival. It won a, a jury, me um, jury mention in the to Tofutsi Film Festival as well. And it's, well, it's got recognized in a lot of different places, so. Um, I think that as a foundation, and it's kind of rare nowadays when, it, when, when you enter into the art world to have like such a strong foundation in the craft itself, I think that that's pretty hard to get at this point where you're like actually focusing so much on the, on the training part, right? Instead of just the, the visual identity, this is more about the actual craft, right? Um, another thing I would say is like, and this has been really big for me personally actually, is in the the ability to like concentrate and like focus on a task for like a long period of time. And what I recognize now in the business world is that it's really hard to get like people to focus for more than like 40 seconds at a time. So this is like a really, really good experience to have the, yeah, you, you get the training basically from, from beginning of a task to the end of the task. And it's, it can be a pretty long process when you're in the academy. Like, you know, you're taking each step of the way as like, knowing the importance of that task. I think this is what's been really valuable for me actually. It's like the importance of the task and not skipping ahead, like focusing on that and then re, I mean, it's really annoying when you're there and you're redoing and <laughs> redoing, but there's value in that. And there's like a lot of brain development in that as well. If you see it from like the scientific point of view too. Yeah. The first one would be that ability, actually, to be able to focus on such a long scale. The second one, I think, would be to be able to, you, to, there's been this really incredible process after the study. I didn't feel it while I was doing the education, but I've noticed it afterwards, actually, that it's helped me to really find my own individual artistic identity because there's so much internal analysis as well, like especially in the composition period of the week, right, where you're just like internally focusing on like taking out what your identity is. And that's super, super cool because then you actually find out later on how you can use those tools. They're basically tools that you're acquiring here and then you're taking them in your own way with your own voice, artistic voice. Um, the third thing, which is kind of cheesy maybe, <laughs> but I really feel like the community itself brought so much to me personally like having actually really nice people around to be able to, I think that when you are doing your artistic process as an artist, you also have the, like your own process to go through because you're making your art, right? It's not just like some kind of, you know, building chairs, even though building chairs is a valuable profession, but you're, you know, you're, you're creating something from the inside out. You have like a gift that you have to share the world. And the more you're also like surrounded by people that are encouraging that, so like evenings where we sat around and talked together, that was really important, like the, the community, the people. So um, one advice that I would give the students that are here now, um, I would say to take, maybe to not like expect, I don't know if this is a good thing to say or not, but to not expect that you will um, in the future be living by this specific thing, like painting, doing portraits, doing nudes and compositions to keep your mind open to maybe what this will feed into. So find out what it is that 
do. I mean, focus now on what you're doing because you're acquiring not, you're not just finding out what, what you're gonna do. That's gonna come later. Now you're like training your hands. You're training your eyes and you're training your brain. So it's like such a valuable, almost like physical and sensory training. That is gonna feed into the, the future when you have to find out what you're gonna do in the art world. So, yeah. <laughs> cool.